Good morning. Hey, this is Greg Peckman with the Peckman team. I uh, hope everybody's having a great Wednesday morning. Already ha almost halfway done with the week, so hang in there. So I just want to do this quick video here, and I'm going to post the uh, graph down here. Thanks to our good friends at MBS Highway, Dan, Hib Dan Habib. Uh, basically, it's, it's going to show you a chart, and on that chart, it's going to show you mortgage rates going up and down on it and, and how the Fed, you know, basically affects that or doesn't affect that, okay? So in March, Fed's going to increase short-term interest rates. Now, once again, we had this conversation many times two years ago when COVID hit, when Fed's dropped the, the short-term rates to zero. People thought mortgage rates were zero. That's not the case, okay? Not the case at all. What it is is short-term rates that banks lend to each other, okay? And the side effect of that is the, the HELOCs going up, car loans going up, and, and so forth, short-term uh, loans. But it's got nothing to do, you know, with the mortgage-backed securities with, with rates, okay? So, so every time that they did that, um, it didn't affect the rates. Now, the reason why they're doing it now is inflation. Inflation is at 7% now, so they're trying to curb inflation. So every time they do that, you know, raise the short-term interest rates, it, it brings down inflation a little bit, okay? But it doesn't affect, you know, basically by doing that, that, that affects the, the rates coming down a little bit, okay? Because, because inflation is the arch enemy of mortgage rates. So any time that the Fed does that, uh, you know, to try to curb inflation by bringing down inflation, that, that helps rates come down as well. Now, here's the thing. The, the Fed is talking about a runoff of their mortgage-backed securities, okay, off their balance sheet. You know, they've been buying billions and billions and billions of dollars, 20 billion one month, 40 billion another month, just crazy amount of numbers, okay? So they're, they're, they're talking about letting that run off, and not just talk, that's probably going to happen, okay? When that happens, okay, once again, I'm going to post this, this chart down in, in the comment section. Once that happens, rates start going up, Okay. So that's, I mean, that's very, very important because people hear about the Fed and, and people are going to, you know, screw it up like in the news media. They're going to say that the, you know, rates are going up for mortgages and everything else because the Fed is hiking the rate. Okay. And, and the Fed is talking about, you know, hiking the rate two, three, four times this year, possibly. So just be aware of that. When they say that, that does not mean that mortgage rates are going up. Okay. They're trying to curb inflation and, and the, the result of that, you know, bringing down inflation helps mortgage rates come down a little bit, okay? But the balance runoff is a thing that you got to listen to. When they say that, rates start going up for 30-year mortgages, for long-term, you know, loans like that. So hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message, or text me at 423-262-9229, okay? All right, guys, looking forward to helping you. Please let me know if you have any questions on this. I'd uh, we'll love to help you with it. Talk to you soon.